take a closer look at this one because flat earth theorists believe that the earth is shaped like a disc with the north pole in the center and the south pole around the edge with NASA workers guarding the sides to prevent people from falling off. Now, some also claim that NASA fakes pictures of the globe in an effort to keep the truth from the public. The controversial American rapper B.O.B., he announced he was a flat earther on Twitter. He's now trying to raise a million dollars to launch satellites to prove his theory. And the former England cricketer Freddie Flintoff thinks there could be a conspiracy. I am not coming out now saying I think the world is flat. Mm -hmm. But it could be. There's evidence to suggest that the world isn't round. The pictures which you see, the horizon always appears flat, apart from NASA pictures, which yeah. some say could be doctored. He's not joking. No, he was joking. He's yeah. not joking. No, he was sort of floating one of the conspiracy theories. You uh, float a conspiracy theory, it suggests no, that I, you might worry. believe No, don't worry, I agree, and I'm concerned about Freddie, but uh, I'm, I'm assured he was... It was tongue-in-cheek devil's advocate stuff, but other people do believe this thing. Now, we're joined by astronaut commander Terry Verts, who spent 200 days on the International Space Station. Terry, uh, let, me, let me just ask you, is the Earth round or flat? <laughs> Well, that's an easier subject than Brexit or uh, mar <laughs> or marriage. Uh, it's round. How do <laughs> we know? Except you work for NASA. I... <laughs> and the point is that yeah. only NASA are saying that they have the proof. That's true. Um, how, well, do you, how, how do we know? For sure? Well, so they put me on a space shuttle and they, they hit the red button and I launched into space going eastbound at 17,000 miles an hour. And thankfully, I came back around to the other side. If the Earth were flat, I just would have kept on going. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't be here today with you. Right. Despite <laughs> all your extensive experience and the truth as seen by your own eyes, right. uh, we want to introduce you to Mark Sargent in Seattle because he says you're wrong. <laughs> the world is flat. Mark, honestly? Honestly. And by the way, Freddie wasn't, wasn't joking around. He's, he's one of ours. Absolutely. <laughs> and, and by the way, sorry, happy birthday in advance to Terry. Hi, Terry. I know you. you have a big one coming up. Yeah. I normally I wouldn't say it. it, but it's a big one. All right, enough okay, of Mark, the people-pleasing. Uh, for those of us, you know, call me stupid, who think the Earth is not flat, but round. Sure. Mainly because sure. lots of people have been in orbit around the round Earth. Tell me why mm. you think the Earth is flat. I think the Earth is flat. That The biggest reason is go to the beach with a high-powered HD camera and look off into the distance. About 10, 15 years ago, you could see ships go over the horizon, right? Now you can bring them back into frame. All you have to do is crank up the zoom. Technology has changed everything. And yes, I, as, as much as, look, Terry's one of my countrymen. I respect that. Uh, he's a commander of the United States military, which means he can keep secrets. What we're talking about here is very simple, like the graph, sorry. Uh, we're talking about all the world's a stage, and you're living basically in a big sound stage, and nobody figured it out until about 1956. OK, Terry, you're talking uh, complete nonsense. You're a conspiracy... Terry? No, not Terry. No, no, I'm talking Mark. to Terry. OK. I'm oh. just saying right, what right, Mark's right. saying. He's, right. saying. he's talking complete nonsense. <laughs> you're part of the NASA conspiracy. <laughs> You've all been lying to us for decades. The Earth is flat. <laughs> You've heard well, I have Well, I have this new book out, View From Above, yeah. oh. and I would say this is a great place. There's one picture for yeah. folks in Britain. This is... Probably one of my favorite Show pictures. Show it to, to that camera but there. Here we go. Okay. Terry? So this is... That um, one there, yeah. There yeah. we go. This is a, a great picture of the UK. Yeah. And the northern lights in the background, which are amazing. And it's kind of a round earth there. So... So, Mark, so I got, got to see it. Well, but uh, I wonder whether that's just a picture which... Has been doctored. Yeah. Can, well, can, like can, I said, I was. And is that just can, the shield can, that stops us falling off the edge? Well, I'm going. You're calling I'm it actually the going lights. to Antarctica this weekend, so yeah. I'll I'll look around for the guards down there that are keeping us, you know, and sa Terry, safe you, on the Earth. When you've orbited the Earth, very few people have orbited the Earth, right? When right. you've done this, yes. I mean, it's round, right? It's round. I mean, yeah. Mark, you know, when you take a tennis ball <laughs> or a football. Right. And you run right. around it, it's round. Well, the Greeks figured it's that out. The same out as the planet. Several thousand years ago. Right. So, Mark, I put it to you, you're talking okay. utter nonsense. It, it's obviously utter nonsense. It's obviously insanity. In fact, I encourage anyone that's listening to the sound of my voice, don't Google flat earth. Don't do it. I will counter his picture with this, this question as a simple question for him. The first blue marble shot of the earth, you know, blue marble I'm talking about, Terry, was taken in 1972 by Apollo 17. Do you know when the second one was taken? Two summers ago, 2015. 
That's 43 years. That's two generations. Nobody took a blue marble shot of the earth. Mark, let me put this question to you. Yeah. Let's assume for a moment you're right. Why would anybody bother to lie about whether the earth is round or flat? Who, get, who benefits <laughs> from the biggest well, lie in history? Why would it matter? Come on, Piers, you would break that story, knowing the, the shock waves that would ripple throughout our Why civilization? Would it matter, Mark? Why would somebody start the lie? Why would somebody wake up one day and go, you know what? We're going to pretend the Earth is actually round when it's flat. Why would anyone do that? Oh, oh, no, no, I got you. I got you there. What, what we're talking about is much bigger than that. I'm talking about if this place was built... That means it was built by someone, which means you're not alone, which means whoever the things were that built this place probably were the ones that introduced the globe model to begin with. Right, OK. So, Terry, apparently there were a bunch of aliens who <laughs> built planet Earth and... Pretend it's round. And they, they pretended it was round. Well, it's funny. Conspiracy theorists... I appreciate that people think the government is so capable and we can keep secrets and stuff like that. But, you know, the simplest secrets, you can't even get one person to stay quiet about something. So how, these, days, how, right? how, these days, it's insane. So, you know, people say we didn't land on the moon. Well, did we get 100,000 people to join the conspiracy? I mean, you, you know, you can't even keep one person quiet nowadays. Mark, the problem, do you, can I ask yeah. Mark, do you yeah. believe that um, men have been on the moon, Mark? No, no, oh, do not believe right. anything the Americans tell you about their space program <laughs> at all. Wow. Right, but you're uh, an American, are you or not? I absolutely am an American. Why I but believe don't you as an American, but not any other American? I'm saying that you don't need 100,000 people to keep this thing a secret. As a matter of fact, less is more. Uh, need to know basis. The only guys that need to be in on this, none of the wrench turners at NASA, all you need is the telemetry guys and those bosses. Can I Everybody ask you, else in. Can I ask you another thing? Like Do you believe Hillary yeah. Clinton won the uh, US presidential election? I didn't vote. Sorry, oh. I didn't really. Do you think Elvis really is still alive, Mark? Uh, no, I don't. I don't believe that Elvis oh. is still alive. Wow. Sorry. Okay. That's Amazing. where you part company um, with I the believe, rest I of the I believe a lot of things, but no, Elvis, no. Okay, no. Terry, let's just talk about your book. It's a brilliant book. It's got amazing pictures, Thank and you've you. had an extraordinary career, not just as an astronaut, but you clocked up three thousand flight hours in forty aircraft for the U.S. military. Um, you befriended Buzz Aldrin, one of the first men yeah. ever uh, to go to the moon. I've met him once. Extraordinary character. Amazing energy. Yes. Not anything else. Yeah. But what was it what's it been like to hang out with Buzz? Yeah, Buzz and I met each other almost 20 years ago. We actually flew uh, F-16s together in Germany. And uh, it's been... I grew up... The reason I became an astronaut was reading about his mission to the moon. Mm. And to get to meet him later in life. We share the same manager, the lady that schedules us both. And uh, it's just amazing to get to be friends and actually work with the childhood hero that I had. And before we let you go, what is the best and worst thing about being in space? The best thing, there's two best things. Okay. Floating is amazing. It's like not anything you can do on Earth for more than a couple seconds. And then the view is unbelievable. Oh. The view from above. What was is... the best view you've ever seen? So I have this picture of Britain. I just mm -hmm. seeing the aurora at night. Um, seeing sunrises and sunsets never it must got be old. Incredible, isn't it? Yeah, it's the pictures are amazing. There's a movie I filmed an IMAX movie called Beautiful Planet. It's playing here in London right now. Um, but despite how awesome those images are, seeing them by yourself is just not. You can't compare. Is the, the worst, is the worst thing the conspiracy theorists? No, they're fine. What's the worst thing about being in space? The worst thing about being in space, uh, losing stuff. I mean, like if how you do don't you have stuff. If you don't have a Ziploc bag or Velcro or a tether, that whatever it is will float away within so your socks. Your socks, your socks would, are, yeah. would float. <laughs> so it was helps, is that it? Because they would just disappear. <laughs> they, they, They'd just be floating they, in space. They, they end up in the air conditioner <laughs> vent is where you find them. Yes. Terry, it's a brilliant book. It's a great Thank honor you. to have a, a real astronaut with us. <laughs> uh, we greatly appreciate you, you coming in. And Mark, you know what, mate? Uh, each to their own. If you want to keep believing the Earth's flat, nobody went to the moon, Good luck to you, my friend.